and hindi nawawala yung feather na yan Agad hindi nawawala yung feather Dumadagdag ng dumadagdag yung attack damage niya no? Check Well, hello, hello mga kapatatas at mga Spectractions. I hope magandang araw nyo ngayon. And uh, nagkatagpo uh, kami ni Yasi kagabi, ano? And uh, sabi ko sa kanya, nakita ko yung team niya. It's an AOE team, ano? I said, uh, eh, yan ang weakness ng team ko. And <laughs> sure enough, take a look at this. Walang panalo kahit isang beses, ano? Anyway, let's go ahead and watch the very first match that we had, ano? And uh, yeah, we'll get to know Yasi's team, all right? And let's pause the game. Bilis niyang nag-move up, ano? I think ever since uh, hinawakan niya tong AOE team na ito, uh, nakita ko ang bilis niyang nag-move up to Wolf number 3 right now, ano? So, um, uh, he caught on to us very fast. I think huli ko siya nakita, nasa boar pa yung uh, kuha niya, yung rank niya, no? Anyway, let's check out his team. So, Axie number 1. Sayang, ano? Hindi pinapakita yung mga pangalan dito ng mga Axie, no? Anyway, uh, leftover potion ng hawak niya And as I mentioned, AOE ang kanyang team Right? Earwing, Tri-Feather You know, Tri-Feather, itong malakas tumira eh Sa mga AOE Malupit ang Tri-Feather Not only that, kasi randomly deal 3 hits All allied axes gain 1 feather And then pag nakakaipon na sila ng feather uh, Dumadagdag ng dumadagdag yung damage nila no? Because of the feather Yun yung bagong mechanics ng feather Okay, so And then yung mid lane niya naman Again, leftover potion na hawak niya no? So I think the idea is uh, Patagalin yung buhay ng dalawang nasa harap As much as possible While gaining feathers And doing damage to a large area of effect you know? And then I know paminsan-minsan Ginagamit niya rin itong Kotaro, uh, Kotaro Ice na ito no? Nagbibigay ng death mark Again, it's very powerful Kasi pagka may death mark na kung sino man Bawat tira niya Kung sino man na may death mark Tumatanggap ng 15 extra damage you know? So really, really powerful And then yung kanyang back lane Is um, naka way of the beast you know? um, Ang hawak-hawak nito Vulnerable So again pag tinamaan ka ng vulnerable, whether area of attack damage or um, kuan, yung single attack, ang lakas ng tama niya pagka nalilittle piece ka, no? And then, meron siyang believer, which is another area of uh, area of effect, ano? Although, itong believer na ito, uh, nagko-consume siya ng rage, pag rage team ang hawak mo. But, because of yung effect ng feather, lumalakas pa rin siya, no? It doesn't matter, right? So, two hits to the target, but, um, you can disregard the 50% bonus damage kasi ang ang dagdag na damage niya nakukuha niya galing dun sa feather again meron siyang tri feather no and then grandma's fan yung grandma's fan this time around hindi ganun kalakas ang effect ng grandma's fan but because nakaka-gain ka pa rin ng feather ulit dito sa grand, galing sa grandma's fan na ito again this is another um this is another attack na makakadagdag sa feathers mo no okay so let's check it out and resume the match Okay, so nauna siya dito, turn 1, ano? And nakita nyo naman, pagtama nung feathers niya, I mean, pagtama nung attack niya, dalawang tinamaan. So, uh, feathers kagad siya, dalawa, no? Okay, so, ang ginawa ko dito, sinave ko yung little piece for later. Kasi, hopefully, pag tinira ko siya ng little piece, mag-carry over yon sa 3 energy attack ko, no? Alright, siya naman, earwing. So, makikita nyo, yan, nagsisimula na mag-ipin, na mag ano? Yung feathers damage, right? And like I said, with every feather, dumadagdag ng dumadagdag yung damage na yan, ano? Okay, so, alright. Yeah, Grammas Fan. So, I think sa mga attack niya, mahina. Ang pinakamahina talaga is Grammas Fan, no? Yung Grammas Fan. But other than that, uh, dahil nagigain pa rin ng feather, so, lagi siyang may constant supply ng feathers, ano? And hindi nawawala yung feather na yan Hanggat hindi nawawala yung feather Dumadagdag ng dumadagdag yung attack damage niya no? Check that out See? Okay, ayan na, lumabas <laughs> Lintik na kotaro eyes My god, my god Alright, grammas pa na no? And then yan, check it out Yung believer, nakita nyo, 71, 72 So effectively, in one energy 140 something ang damage nyo na no? Napakalakas Okay, so tumira din tayo ng kotaro's eyes ano? And hopefully, makatulong And then yung furball, yung furball dahil dalawang energy kinoconsume niya, ang effect niya ngayon dito is tumataas ng one more extra 15 kasi ang condition ng ang condition ng death mark is uh, uy, tapos. Did you see that? Like so takes 15 damage per that card's energy cost, no? Energy cost ang binibilang. Okay. So, eto na, malapit na tayo sa katapusan. 
Uh, the thing is, with my team, ano, medyo hindi siya damage efficient. So, dito, uh, kung lumabas lang sana yung mga tamang cards sa akin, mananalo sana tayo, no? Pero malakas na kasi yung damage niya. Take a look at that. See? Patay yung isa. Boom! 93. Right? So, ang lakas pagka merong ganoon. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that match. Yung uh, dalawang match pa namin, ganun din ang itsura, no? <laughs> Basically, hindi umaabot yung huling tira ko para matapos yung yung aksi niya, no? So, kulang lagi ako ng isang tira. Uh, but again, uh, recognize ko na kahinaan talaga ng team ko yung AOE at saka yung uh, uh, poison damage. That's why hirap na hirap ako sa mga ganong teams. Alright, anyway, I hope you enjoyed itong uh, friendly match namin. And um, hope to see you again next time. Please like the video, make sure you check out the other videos, and subscribe for more. Alright, I will see you in the next battle.